सो वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लेवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड we are going to work on the logout part and the route protection like middleware we have so that if we are logged in the user doesn't have to go to the login route or if he is not logged in then profile will doesn't work okay so let's now log in first and we will see what exactly we have to do so sign in and yes it's working we are on the profile yes it says log out but if i click here nothing happens instead it just redirecting me to log in and what if i want to log out and after that i don't want anyone to access profile even i have to hide this profile tab from here so let's open the vs code here yes my ng serve is working and also the backend laravel is also working servers both servers okay so first thing first let's now go to source on the front end source app component and navbar navbar component dot html and here you can see for the logout we have this router link we have to delete it instead if i delete this now we don't have that hand icon so let's do one thing i will give a href and give a hash so that we have this but it will uh, just going to redirect me to the same page or even on the base url but we don't want that so i think what we have to do we have to say on click whenever we click on this logout button then i have to go to logout function and i am going to pass event whatever will be the event and yes we don't have this uh, logout function on our navbar dot component dot ts so let's create logout and here we need to have an event which is like mouse event okay so that's good and inside this i will firstly say e dot prevent default so prevent default so it will not going to work for that href and e is actually an event so i think let's call it a small event and event okay yes this is good so go here and if i click you can see now it's not working even though here on the left bottom you can see it's showing that it will redirect to hash but it's not doing that but now what we need we need to change the status auth status you can see we have this one even on the login component dot ts whenever we are log in we are changing the auth status as true and then redirecting so i think we have to do the reverse of this thing so let's copy and paste here auth change auth status to false not logged in and redirect to simple login okay and obviously we don't have router and auth so let's grab these things so yeah auth i have actually i don't have route router so router is router angular router simple thing let's recheck angular router correct so this is nice so let's go refresh the page and click on this log out yes we are logged out but page doesn't change so let's do one thing refresh and even let's verify that we don't have token but we have the token we even have to remove the token also when we are logging in so this means we need to get the token uh, service also so token service from here and now i will say token dot remove and it is done so let's open token service to verify that so yes we have this remove and it will remove item that means the token from the local storage that's again good so once more let's log in and yeah we are redirected yes we have the token we are on the profile click logout 
yes we are on login and you can see instantly local storage is now empty or simply removed uh, token here okay and this is the way we have created a simple logout system and it's working absolutely fine but here is the next problem we are still having this profile button and we can still access this profile so let's work on that so again on this navbar.component.html as we are using that hey if the user is not logged in then don't show it so it's like whenever you are logged in then we have to show so i think we have to get that one okay so ng if we are logged in so yes you can see as we are not logged in yes we have the login but profile tab is not here but still still user can go directly from here and type just profile and go here so how we can protect even this to have this actually we have to create a middleware kind of things protecting for the router so on the angular you have some kind of routing here and here you need to provide can activate can activate we have to create a service and that service if it is true then can activate if it is false then can't activate so let's create these two services actually by two yeah let me show these things we have to create two services one for having after login then second for before login so let's create a new terminal for the front end and now say ng generate service and the service has to be inside services folder after login this is the service i want to generate and this has to be module for app so it will directly registered on the module of app that means module app.module.ts and yes it is generated similarly we have to create before login so before login and these two services will be here so after login service and before login service so let's now go and after login service here we have to implement implements which thing can activate so can activate i have to implement but as i am implementing this class we need to register something so that's why it's giving error incorrect implementation we have missing of various things so what are the things we have to say if you are having a good extension for your vs code it will suggest you and this bulb simple bulb so let's click here and implement interface so after i implementing yeah we have all these things so we just have to import these things here like this and this one also and observable so observable once more okay firstly here i have to give the login information so i will say this dot token dot uh, logged in so logged in do we have this one we have to firstly grab the token so private token as token service import that and let's open token service and yeah we have logged in function so logged in and it's a function so use this so close this line and similarly similarly we need to have all these things but here this will return if it is true so this means if user is logged in then this can activate after logged in will be valid and this will return true okay but what about before login let's implement same thing can activate and where is that yeah click here implement these things get that once more here and now we need to have all these things and let's grab service token service also 
this is here and this time we have to say not so if user is not logged in then it will give false but we are saying that just convert it to true so if it is false it is giving true that means before login is true if user is not logged in so it is working absolutely fine but what we need to do how we will implement these things so it's very easy can activate will give a service which is uh, obviously this login can be accessed before logged in so i will say before login service implemented yeah that's good sign up same thing can activate before login yeah this one same thing here profile so can activate this will af this will be valid after logged in so after login reset password and same thing so why not copy this and paste it here and paste it here okay actually we have to move this inside this brackets so like this and why not select all these things not this one so one two and three yes so yeah problem is gone and let's now see everything is good go to chrome refresh this page <laughs> let's try to access profile profile and we are back to our root url so try to log in and let's let's log in fast so here we have and now this time i want to go to login i can't go so sign up yeah so these things are working absolutely fine and this is exactly how you can prevent any page or any route from accessing behind this logic of log in and log out so if you have liked this episode don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone know how we can connect angular and laravel don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye